Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today we'll be reviewing one of the beefy cold steel pocket knife. Cold steel, uh, right here you can see cold steel. And right here you can see counterpoint one. This is one, not two, not three, one. Okay, it's one of their fav famous try at lock knife. You can close it like so. This is the lock mechanism and it's extremely, extremely tough, which we will demonstrate, of course. Um, when you get one of these cold steel knife, be prepared to face lock issues because it's not that the lock is going to fail. If the lock is too strong, some people will complain you cannot close the knife by pressing here. It doesn't release the lock. Okay, what you need to do is get a table edge and push it against the table edge to make it close. Okay, like that. Now, how to make it easier to close? Very easy. Open it partially, put it here. Okay, one week. After one week, you get it back to the blade, open and close 100 times or so, and it will be much better for open and close. Now, this blade is not new here. I have been using this for cutting boxes, opening parcels, letters, cardboard, and all that stuff. The edge um, did hold up very strong even cutting a lot of tapes. And um, yeah, it does work. Okay, the lock itself is stronger than it has to be. So I will say that the lock is like crazy, crazy strong. It's a very, very safe blade. Now this is a false edge, so it's not gonna cut, okay? But you can sharpen it for cutting. What this false edge does is it helps you stab into things, okay? Because of the shape and not just the edge. So it helps to stab and it's not meant to be sharpened. There's a pocket clip, you can put it on the other side if you like. And there are some cutouts right here on the frame, which is the G10 handle, and it's supposed to reduce the weight of the knife. Now, this blade is extremely durable and strong, but you may want to see how it works with gloves on, and also, uh, does it slip? How is the grip, etc. So here, we've got some gloves, okay? Crappy winter gloves, wool gloves, and we got a police duty glove. These are Damascus brand blade proof police duty gloves. Now let's put it on my right hand. See if I can deploy the blade. Okay. Okay. Take the blade in hand. Feels very solid, meaty, and it's very thick. So it feels very meaty. There's a stud here which you can use to open up the blade with one hand. Okay, it locks. Wow, it feels like you're you're in combat mode right away. It feels very like law enforcement vibe. <laughs> so feels very solid, very solid. There's no special grooves or cut out right here. So the hand does slip right here, but uh, because of this little angle, it feels pretty good when you are slicing. You see, my finger can touch this little curve, and it does help to cut well. Okay, now let's close it. To close it, can you close it with one hand? Now press on the lock with one hand. Not easy, but it works too. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'm a right hand guy, so I'm not gonna try my left hand to torture myself. Now let's try the uh, winter glove and see how it feels compared to the other one. Now you see, this is like wool, so it may cling on to some blade, may not. Okay, this one, so far, I try to play around in my hand, and nope, these edges are done really nice. Nothing is clinging on, like the SOG access card. It like totally cling on to my wool, but here, no. I just try to slip around, and it doesn't cling on to my glove. Very nice, let's open it up. Okay, opens up without any issues. It feels pretty solid, and my hand feels the frame 100%, very nice nice action okay try to close it with one hand okay, press it oh damn the lock is getting too tough again okay, let me take my gloves on off sorry okay it's hard to close the blade with the glove on somehow I don't know why but yeah so the handling part of it you can see uh, with winter glove it's harder to close the thing is extremely tough you can't depend on it any day and the lock is like crazy tough. Okay, besides that, 
our typical test here with the soup can okay open it up like so you can use it like a dagger and stab right into it okay. very tough and there's no damage to the tip so far very very tough tip and of course you see there's a big hole right here okay very tough and also let's try you can see okay it's not going to fail on you very tough very tough very tough lock um yeah beside that okay let's uh, do a little bit of cutting okay as usual we will cut some paper and you can see so it cuts into the paper with yeast push cut very easy it's a very sharp blade and of course just like any blade you can sharpen it yourself to get it more sh like sharper but this review I want to focus on the handling of the blade so far I would say that this is a very comfortable grip um, it's not super textured like it's too tough for some glove but uh, this is not it feels very nice in hand and if you're worried that your finger will get stuck in the hole and get cut no it won't okay it will not stuck okay even your finger goes like that it, you cannot touch the blade much so it's pretty safe and the weight is moderate it's not like super lightweight but yeah uh, it's okay as a pocket knife and uh, extremely handy okay so far I would say that this is one of the tough coast steel pocket knife that I recommend and you can actually do one hand deployment with these like that okay very nice just like all coast steel knife remember the uh, lock exercise leave it like that for one week and make sure that the lock is exercised and uh, the spring is warmed up so that it will open and close easily okay so basically that's it a nice review for this blade thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye, -bye.